Hey, what's up guys? This is Rudy from Procar Studio. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to set up flex fuel capability on your 9th gen Civic Si. Overall, pretty straightforward. Now, as a side note, we do offer base calibrations uh, for the Siri Moto Flex Fuel Kit. So if you're already running a base calibration or you don't have too many uh, particular mods on your car, you could go ahead and, uh, you know, use the base calibration file that we could provide. Alternatively, though, if you already have a calibration that's, you know, kind of worked on and, you know, tuned for your car, you could go ahead and, uh, you know, open that file up. So either by downloading it via the Flash Pro window here, or if you have a copy saved off on your desktop, you could go ahead and open that up. Now we're going to go into the calibration window and we're going to start by going into the miscellaneous settings. The first thing we're going to do is uncheck the second ECT to ECT sensor enabled. So we're going to disable that setting there. Next thing is the coolant thermostat temperature check. P0128 is the uh, engine or OBD2 code for that particular setting. So we'll disable that as well. And the next thing is kind of optional, but really we do recommend it because uh, E85 or flex fuel on a cold start uh, can cause a few misfires, especially in super cold conditions. Uh, and that really only comes up during a cold start situation. So, so just to prevent any issues from coming up, you can go ahead and disable that so that the cold starts, uh, you know, go without a hitch. Next thing is going to go into the ethanol settings here and we're going to enable the input here, ECT2. The ECT2 circuit is the one that's being used when running a Siri Moto Flex Fuel Kit. And we're going to go ahead and update these parameters here. Now, Honda does have uh, calibration settings uh, available for the 9th Gen SI, but these particular settings here ended up working really well. And it's what we offer for the base calibration for the Siri Moto Flex Fuel Kit. So you could go ahead and update these numbers here. And the, la the last thing we're going to do is update our ethanol ignition compensation table. So this table here is what actually allows you to make more power. And as your uh, ethanol percentages go up, your ECU is going to see that and adjust the ignition timing to match these uh, numbers here. So it's going to advance timing, especially in the uh, higher load range. That's where you're really going to make the most power running flex fuel on these cars. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this uh, video. Overall, pretty straightforward to set up your car to run E85 or flex fuel. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. You could also contact us by going to our website, www.procivic.com. So go ahead and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates, and then we'll see you next time.